Hello and welcome to the 19th IGCC Math Tutorial and today we're doing more trig. Trig. Yay. So let's get started. Um, we're finding an unknown angle. So, uh, unknown angle. And this is this book starts with ten. We'll start with ten version. Okay, so let's draw our triangle. Okay, so we've got this here, and we've got angle M. And we know that the hypotenuse is five, and the adjacent is four. Uh, right, so we don't, the hypotenuse is not 5, this is 5, and this is 4. That's right. So, um, basically, we need to start by writing down our formula. Now, it's not going to help us. It doesn't look like it's going to help us, but it will. Cos M is equal to the tan M is equal to what? Op opposite of or adjacent. Now the opposite is the opposite side here is a five and adjacent is four, so it's five over four. Now this is where something funny special happens. So it should be a shift T or an INV function on your calculator. And what you can and these basically put the inverse of the function on. So we need to use something called tan negative 1. Okay? And that can be generated tan on a calculator by pressing shift or inv tan. And then you may, and then you put in the brackets 5 over 4. And this is equal to angle M. On the calculator, I'm pressing shift tan 5 over 4 is equal to... It's approximately equal to 51.34 degrees. Mm -hmm. Again, make sure that your calculator is in degrees mode. I have remembered to do it this time. So, uh, that's okay. So, uh, let's do one with cos. They're all the same, really. But, yeah. Okay, cos. So, we again have another triangle, right angle, this is angle X, and then this side is 5, and this side is 2. So, how do we do it? Well, the first step is to uh, write our formula, which, which is cos X is equal to, what's the cos? Ka. 5 over 2, this thing becomes cos negative 1, so if you can't see that, 5 over 2 is equal to x, x is approximately equal to cos 5 over 2, approximately equal to, right, that's not right, I forgot to press the inverse button. Yeah, right. Sorry, something's wrong here. See if you can spot it. Because I get math here and I put this into my calculator. So you can pause the video and have a think what I've done wrong. Okay. These should be swapped around. So it should actually be 2 over 5. Okay. Uh, okay, so uh, I did that on purpose just so you know. Not making mistakes or anything, is equal to 66.42. Okay? And we can do one more for sign. Sign. 
sign. Said, draw a triangle. This is angle Y. This is right angle. This is five. And this is one. So how do we do it? You should know how to do this by now, so you can just pause the video. Okay. Okay. So this is what you do. Sine y is equal to opposite over adjacent, 1 over 5. Then sine negative 1 y is equal to sine negative 1, 1 over 5 is equal to y. y is approximately equal to sine negative 1, 1 over 5 is approximately equal to 11.54. So, that was finding angles. And then there's just some stuff on bearings, which are basically angles measured from north. You can also do three dimensional problems, for example, when you have a cube. And you might be able to find this angle. You also got you might that a long diagonal link because you've got this one. So if I no. like this or something like that. But it's all really a matter of drawing small two D figure. Like for this one, you need to find this is the diagonal length here, and then this part is just here, this, and then you can sort of see a triangle like that. And then there's some unit circle stuff, which is really just some proofs. Okay, so we're gonna do some real stuff. So, what if we have a triangle like this? No sides, a right angle. Can we do it? No, can we do anything with it? Yes. We need two formulas. They are the sine rule and the cosine rule. And we'll start. We'll start with the sine rule. Now, sine rule comes in two forms. Top form is for finding sides, the bottom form is for finding angles. You need to remember these formulas by heart, but these ones are a bit easier to remember than the cosine one. Okay, so I've got that down. So we're going to use the first formula uh, when we've got something like this. The first step is to label the angles A, B, C, A. B and C. Okay, um, so this is basically good for when you know a side and the opposite angle and another angle or another side. Okay, say so we've got this angle here is 40 degrees, and this side here is 5, and this side here is 4. No. Say this angle here is 30, what's C? Okay, now, um, hmm. okay, so I will uh, then begin the process. So we put this into a formula, which we A over sine A. So um, check here again, it's just A over sine A. A. Right, we're not dealing with A. So B over sine B. So B is 5 over 40. So 5 over sine 40. Sine 40. And let's have a look at this. Is equal to is equal to X over sine 30. 
then you then what you do is just a simple matter of multiplying by both sides by sine 30 which is then 5 sine 40 times sine 30 is equal to x and then on the calculator this comes out to X is approximately equal to 3.889. Okay. So that's that one. Let's make another one. So. Got another picture to draw here. And this time we'll just use the same world again. This angle is 50 degrees. This side here. Is six. This is uh, this one is two. What's this angle? Okay, so this is X. So we have sine A over A equals sine B over B. Like this. Now let's get to. It's going to be 50 sine 50 over 6. Sine 50 over 6. 6 is equal to. Um. Then we can do some multiplication. That is just 2 sine 50 over 6. And then this we can just put in big brackets again with a sine negative 1, which is then equal to x. Is then approximately equal to this on the calculator. Okay, sine negative one, two, two, sine fifty, sine fifty over not the entire sine, sine fifty over six comes out to. Approximately fourteen point seven nine four. Okay. Um. Now I don't want to make this video too long, so I will stop. I'll stop it here. So and then we'll do the cosine rule next time. That's the harder one to remember, really. And we will also do area. Of some triangles, and then we can do some questions where we have to use almost all of our formulas. Okay, but for now, this is uh, I guess I'll um, see you next time in tutorial 20. Goodbye.